Hello everyone and welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today we will be talking about the flare tool which is present in our rectangle tool options on the left side of our toolbar over here. As you can see firstly it was with the rectangle tool. We'll just right click and select the flare, the flare tool from here. There you go. Now what is the flare tool? The flare tool is really something spectacular although it is very difficult sometimes for beginners to use the tool is present in illustrator to create fantastic lens flares of the likes you would normally create in programs such as photoshop or adobe after effects cs4 however the flare tool creates these effects only using vector objects not pixels and illustrator keeps them in an editable state which makes them very easy to adjust Remember, because the flare tool uses a variety of transparency blending modes, you may see odd results when adding flares that overlap areas with no background, adding a white rectangle that fills your entire artboard and sending it to the back will help or alternatively, you can create a mask that clips out the unwanted areas of the flare. Alright, now let's start. So first, let's create a rectangle over here so that we can see our flare tool perfectly. All right, and let's create it according to our artboard over here. And let's put it in a bit of darker color so that you can see it. There you go. Now, after that, we will use the flare tool over here. Okay, go to the rectangle tool, right click it, and then select the flare tool okay now let's create the flare tool and now as you can see after i click and hold my mouse button it creates one flare tool right here let's use the selection tool select out and now you can see that this is what the flare tool basically looks like all right now let's just create another flare tool but this time instead of just clicking on the artboard and dragging I'll click and drag it to its utmost limit. Now you can see that the flare tool creates a very huge flare this time. Let's use the selection tool to drag it. There you go. So now you can see this is what the flare tool really does. It creates an image of a flare and it gives you this effect, which can be normally done in Adobe CS After Effects. All right now i'll explain to you what these lines are these lines are basically the rays of our flare and these are the inner and outer circles of our flare now i'll explain to you why i used a deep dark color background over here say i select the rectangle and this time uh, i'll just use a fill of say just white color over here and then I'll right click it and then arrange it and send it to the back. Okay. What? All right. So now you can see that over here the flare is visible, but it's not as visible as it was last time. The rays over here or the paths over here cannot be seen. All right. Let's just change it back to as it was. There you go. Now you can see that over here using our darker background you can see the rays boundaries over here all right now that we are done explaining that to you i'll now create the lens flare which you can see in many different types of many different types of DSLR photos effects. All right, so let's delete this first and also this one. Okay, this time instead of using the flare tool, we will just first click on our artboard. That will bring up our flare tool options. All right, here you can see that we have four distinguishable options from which first one will select the diameter, which is the center of our flare so let's make it a bit smaller so that it's easier to see okay, let's say i want it to be as much as 
yeah this one is okay all right and then let's set the opacity to a hundred percent after that let's set our brightness to 70 percent now the rays over here are basically the number of rays that you can see these lines so let's say instead of 26 i want more than 26 you can see that the rays increases let's turn it back to a quite amount of 17 or 18 yeah and the longest is basically the size of the rays okay you can see the more i increase it the radius of the rays increase now let's just change it back to 200 240 percent and the fuzziness was basically show the amount of rays that are in a distinguished area all right after that we have the halo now what the halo will do is basically increase in size as you can see that the outer circle over here is increasing when i decrease it it decreases in size and the fuzziness is also the same it will increase and decrease the fuzziness of our halo after that we have the rings the rings are basically these rings that you can see over here the small rings okay now let's say i want their pot to be a bit less all right now you can see that the rings are a bit closer to each other and after that you can also select the number of rings that you want let's say i want 15 then the largest over here will be so 93 94% let's change it to 49% or 61% then we have the direction of our flares you can set it to any angle that you want now let's say that we press ok over here and i can see this is what my flare looks like at the moment all right so let me just use the rotating tool to rotate it to a certain angle then just use this to bring it inside there you go that's what my flare looks like over here and you can see that it looks pretty nice right let's delete it and let's create a normal flare tool this time okay let's use a selection tool to bring it inside and as you can see this is what it looks like all right Let's make it a bit smaller. There you go. And now let's go to effect and then let's go to distort and transform. Transform. And over here, you can see that we can change the horizontal and vertical size of our. image and then we can also move it to a certain degree all right then we can also rotate it and then we can say we can transform the patterns transform strokes and effects reflect x and y axis and random etc and we here we can also select the number of copies that we want let's say we want the number of copies to be 12 let's press ok and here you can see that there are 12 copies of our flare so this is how you basically use the flare effect to create different types of designs in our in our adobe illustrator okay let's say i want to make it bigger to show you the full effect of it now you can see it's a pretty beautiful design that we have got from using our flare tool right so this is how you use it your banner etc banner flag or anything exactly so this is how you use the flare tool and always remember that it is on the left side of our toolbar you have to right click the rectangle tool then select it and create your flare over here just like that so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video